Hello and welcome to Soul Horoscope's Weekly Edition. I'm your host of the universe, Christopher Watecki. And pardon my dust, I've been gone for about four weeks now. Had a little illness hit me. Thank you to everyone that sent me warm wishes and posted on Facebook and kept up with GA. I'm so appreciative. Really, prayer does work. I bounced right back. And it was your birthday period. My apologies for that. But let's catch up, shall we? In the last 30 days, Gemini's have been working on their ego state of awareness, which is going to be the point of your growth for an entire year. No matter what you went through in this birthday period, you're just getting started. And unfortunately, Jupiter only at one degree as I'm talking right now, we literally just are getting started. In the next 30, uh, actually in the last 30, we were setting up for what you'll do in the next year, which is completely grow into a stronger ego, a more vivacious personality, one that represents your true inner faith. This does mean that any ego faux pause fa fa will fall apart. Anywhere you're over egotistical, overconfident, expect those to collapse. Anywhere where you need to grow, expect that to be challenging. But when it's all said and done, I just finished this transit, you do feel a lot better after you've been rebuilt. Don't resist. <laughs> As we come back on Wednesday, the sun is 29 degrees. Now this is the tested degree. This is always the degree that tempts us back. So you might be pulled into the old angry Gemini or the old resentful or the old sad or the old way of thinking, the old way of defending yourself. Don't go there. Emotions will be pretty powerful. The moon is in Cancer and so your self-esteem or money is what stirs the ego pot, but it's really about ego and your response is vitally important. It sets a lot into motion. So for those of you watched over by GA, I'll be texting like crazy on Wednesday for you to authenticate how you really feel and step in the direction of where you should go. That is the Wednesday uh, really way to get through. Now we'll be wrapping up your ego conscious uh, transit for this year, the birthday period on Wednesday. But like I said, I'll be talking a lot about this. It is the focus, one of the big focuses for the entire year. Something to go over in the Act 3 videos, which by the way are coming out soon. Then on Thursday, we're at zero degrees. I always say zero means zero. We're in that no man's land between two states of awareness. You're leaving the ego state and you're working now on self-esteem issues and money. Now Gemini's manifest through emotion, their feelings. If they don't feel they're worth it, they can't pull it in the world. So you can't really fake it till you make it when you're a Gemini uh, in lots of ways. But the full, most important part of this transit is how you manage your own emotions. Because if emotions are tied to your self-esteem and also your abundance, you have to be good at managing emotions so that you can light cast as you want to. So really this transit is about how you manage your own emotions. I gotta say Geminis aren't the best at this. You're super good at the mind, not so good at the motion. So this might be a difficult transit depending on your spiritual maturity as we begin. So Thursday is a weird day. We're kind of offline. Uh, the moon is wrapping up in Cancer and heading into Leo. Uh, then by Friday, things actually feel much better on Friday. Why? Well, on the one hand, the moon moves into Leo, so emotions now have focused on your intellect, so it's almost like you finally feel not so victim to your emotions, because they're now reporting into your mind, which rules everything when you're a Gemini. You'll be very articulate. It's a good day to get things off your chest, good day to negotiate things. I would put off negotiations of any money transactions right now until I give you some more uh, notice a little bit later. You don't want it muddied up with your emotional issues, but really the question on Friday comes down to this simple one. Do you love yourself? Do you value yourself? Are you valuable in your opinion? Most people can't manifest abundance because they don't feel like they're worth it. They feel like they're cheating. This is why the lottery is so popular because lots of people don't feel like they deserve it so they're gonna play the lottery and gamble. Guess what? If you feel like you deserve it, you can manifest it. So on Friday, the question really is, do you love yourself? Do you value yourself to begin with? This is what we teach in boot camp. Now the moon in Leo does make you a little bit more balanced when it comes to processing that sort of question. So I don't think it's gonna be a hectic day per se as far as high drama. Thank God us for that, right? Then we move to Saturday. Now Saturday is gonna be a good day for a couple of reasons. One, Venus is direct. Venus was retrograde nearly your entire birthday period, which means you were being forced to look within to find your strength. Really hard, you find your strength. 
no one lending a helping hand, no one there to help you out at the hard times, really having to stand up for yourself with Venus retrograde. The good news is if you did the soul work, now that Venus goes direct, you will see almost immediately the universe starts to treat you like you treat yourself. If you didn't do the soul work, more of the same. But don't worry, like I said, that's what Jupiter is there for. Either way, you start receiving again, maybe good news, maybe a little flattery, maybe a compliment as of Saturday. Now the moon is still well into Leo on Saturday, so emotions and talking and processing is what it's all about. So probably chatty Geminis on Saturday. On Sunday, Jupiter rules the day, so you'll begin to have hope again. And what you want to get to really on Sunday is what undermines your self-confidence? What undermines your love for yourself? This is the basis of money issues. A lot of people have money issues, don't have self-confidence, don't believe in themselves, don't value yourself. So on Sunday you'll be exploring, the universe might have a little birdie fly up and tell you something, beginning to understand what's not working with what I call soul capital, self-esteem and self-love. All right. You want to do as much exploring on Sunday, by the way, as you can, because on Monday Uranus rules the day, and so you might have some financial breakdowns or some bad news coming if you are really new at this whole soul capital thing. So do your work on Sunday. Do exploring. Try to find new ways to make money. Try to find reasons why you haven't been able to, or get to the bottom of why you are lacking in self-confidence. All right, Gemini, that is all I got for now, but I will be back on Monday if everything goes well. Thank you so much for your support. Until then, live, love, be.